While the Western media is focused on Iran responding to deadly Israeli strikes, hundreds of terrorist Israeli settlers were attacking Palestinians in the occupied West Bank, killing, injuring, and setting fires after a 14-year-old from an illegal settlement outpost went missing. I mention the settlement being illegal because he never should have been there. Sadly, that 14-year-old was later found dead. If the death of a child upsets you, then you should be overwhelmed with grief for the thousands of children Israel has killed in Gaza in just the last six months. Unless you only care about children being killed if they are Israeli. Israel claims the teen was killed in a terrorist attack, but in typical Israeli fashion, provides zero evidence. After his body was discovered, the Israeli settlers stepped up their terrorist ways, attacking 10 Palestinian villages under the protection of the IOF, which is a regular occurrence in the West Bank under Israel's apartheid. In the last 16 months alone, the Israeli military and settlers have killed an average of 44 Palestinians a month. This is state-sanctioned violence. Israeli officials arm these terrorist settlers and the Israeli military supports them. In the eyes of Israel, Palestinians don't have the right to defend themselves and are villainized for even trying. Israel has been forcing Palestinians into two options way before October 7th and way before Hamas was created in 1987. Those options are leave or die. Stop Israeli settler terrorism, free Palestine.